now here open new assembly okay now first part i'll choose just drag and show coordinate system view origin and connect to this point so that our geometry located at perfectly on center highlight first part by default always insert component now select all these three parts mat let's fix this first i'll select this hole and this one okay now select this one this face and this face here select distance 30 mm take it okay that's we want to come out 30 mm outside in here now again press control key drag and take outside copy just simply a method clear hole and concentric relation okay here again put distance 30 mm say yes okay now i'll drag law select this one and concentric relation that's fine now let's fix with now let's fix this slot so here select mat clear and i'll choose this wall and this wall coincide relation say yes this face and this face coincide relation okay now this one fixed control key click and copy mat shaft and the circular face concentric relation okay just take near to key this face and this face coincide key face and the road law face okay now these are the fixed see now let's rotate now see this is parallel to this so and this hole is parallel to this this hole should be here take care to fix this hole because in one side you will find two hole and one here because there is a odd number let's choose this one okay cancel it first now let's okay that's already fixed i uh, will fix this one at the end let's make mechanical mat gear p 
basically gear this one and this face here 2020 no more reverse say yes close now let's try to rotate oh that's perfect now let's try to fix this mat this hole now you will see the holes are not going okay okay now this shaft and this hole go centric relation that's fine i'll choose this face this face coincident now okay holes are matched now let's assign some bolt nut bolt go to library okay to matrix bolt and hexagon and here i will choose this flange heavy flange just drag keep your cursor near hole and face this is 10 hole so we will choose 10 and here keep length 50 mm because this is 20 and the depth is 50 mm say yes now just it will ask you you need more so just move your hole and face hole face hole face and click no need to it will automate see the hole selected if you move face click face click this is the best way to apply it saves uh, lots of time okay now the holes are fixed let's come here metric com power transmission gear now we will use here spur gear Just drag to here. See the one relation created. Keep module three. Number of T thirty pressure line at twenty. Face width fifteen. Okay, that's fine. Fifteen. No, no, we don't need hub. Shaft diameter twenty because our shaft is twenty. Say okay. I will ask you, you need one more. So just move your cursor near this. Okay. Cancel. Mat. Choose these two faces. Go inside. Shaft. Go centric relation. Now here let's apply, fix this one with this shaft, shaft, I'll choose top plane of shaft, come down, this is the gear, hold control key, plane 2, click mat, coincide, ok. Now let's come to other shaft. This is the last one is per gear one. Shaft. Right plane. Here I'll choose right plane, not top plane. Come down. Press control key plane two. Met. See, it is perfectly going to align with this. Okay, close. Now, if you rotate, see, it's going to rotate. 
because we already set load there. Now this assembly is finished. Let me save this assembly. Let's hide. Save, right click, go to tool, motion analysis. Okay, it's already selected. Keep animation. I'll select frame 50. Just drag this up to 10 seconds. And uh, let's apply motor. And let me choose this one. RPM, I'll choose 20 millimeter. And uh, okay, 20 RPM, say yes. Now click calculate. It's calculating once finished. Now let's play. See how is motor going to play. So don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.